Hey guys, what's up? It's TreeRoot here on the Split Pick server. Whoop, 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 whoop. And check it out. I've been uh, laying down some new pathways. Just, uh, you know, getting things connected up a bit. I connected my house up. We've got the pathway running down through there because, as you can see, we have some new stuff being built on the server. We have uh, Seren's shop, his Seren's sip, yeah. Seren Tears Shear Shop, just over there, um, and a pathway down from from here goes the whole way over to his base, over that way, so we don't have to use boats anymore, because boats suck, and I built this pathway here just because I thought, you know, it's time to start connecting some things up, and we've got this big notice board that I think we have Conquer, and then... Uh, Seren, uh, Conquer built it first, and I think Seren maybe upgraded it a bit and uh, made it fit in with the theme a bit more. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, buying, buying girlfriend, lo lonely, long picked female looking for no strings attached, mining maybe more, uh, and the shop. And also, I, I'm guessing this is Conquer, probably. I don't know though, I haven't seen it in anyone's video. And nobody's mentioned it to me, but uh, yeah, somebody's put a load of chests out for all of the, uh, the sheep, which is awesome. Um, chickens are doing well. Uh, what else have we got going on that's new? Not much, actually, other than that. There's a couple of other bits, but they would be spoilers, so I don't want to show anyone them. Uh, because we'll see all of them sometime this week, and I think you'll like it a lot. Um, but today, I decided that I would go and do a little bit of upgrading to uh, fair Mr. Groundskeeper Willie's shack because he, you know, it's it's a little bit windy in there. I, I was saying that it would be and that I didn't care, but I, I do, you know, mm. I do. I feel like I should board up some of the holes on his shack because it's, it's a little bit unfair, isn't it? I mean, you know, I don't know. I just, I just feel a bit harsh. So we're going to board up some of the holes of his shack, nail them down, Oop. oh, oh, there we go, and then another O, and all the way along, and nope, there we go, so that's one board there, and we'll board up this bit as well, uh, here we go, oh, no, that's a, a zero, okay, You guys do this at all anywhere? Use uh, your uh, signposts as as uh, boards. I like it. I think it's cool. So yeah, we're gonna do that on this side. Oh, and I'll have to go around the other way. And I don't think we'll board up there. But we'll board up this bit as well. Just one last one. Just you know, cover up a bit of the drafts anyway, so we can at least get some sleep easier. Oh, 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 there we go, that's cool, I dig it, there you go Mr. Willy, it's all for you, it's all for you Damien, it's all for you, um, I've got some ideas for this but I don't think we're going to do that today, I think what we're going to do today uh, is First off, we're going to save the gatekeeper because he's been dangling there left hanging for far too long now and I think it's definitely time that we save him. And uh, I think we'll bring him over. Oh, I've got an itchy leg. Uh, what the hell? Okay, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I think it's time we bring him over to the main town, the spawn town, to guard spawn because I think that's that's a very important thing. We need to make sure that no... Zombies getting here. Oh, blimey, that was a big unloaded chunk. Uh, no zombies get in or anything like that. Um, which is, you know, Conker's built that that wall around the outside. That was pretty cool. Thank you very much for that, Conker. At some point, we'll uh, we'll all get together once we've got the town fully fully up and going. Once we've got all the buildings in, because I'm sure that wall will have to move as as the town expands and things. Um, as we get more builds and, and stuff, you know, it will have to expand a little bit. But uh, yeah, and, th and at that point we can probably upgrade the wall a bit more. Now, 
I thought at first that he was screwed, that we, there was no way to save him. And then uh, Saren pointed out that we could just let him fall in the water, which, yeah, makes quite a lot of sense to me, actually. And then we can get this rope. Here we go. And we can lead him back to town. No problem. No problem. I don't know why I was so worried about it. Can he? He can't get up there, can he? Um... What is the, the best way? I think it's this one, isn't it? Come on. Come on, Mr. Gatekeeper. Come on, you can do it. This way. This way. No break dancing. Any of you guys actually ever, uh, you know, met any real sheep or, or anything like that? Um, seen seen uh, real sheep? I, I've lived on farms a couple of times. When we were in Wales, you know, we had, um, when we were on the border of Wales and uh, England, we were, we lived in the Forest of Dean, which was basically in this, in this village, we were just in this village called Redbrook, and it's pretty much one of the only villages in the UK that can't decide whether it's Welsh or English. And get this, basically all the houses are on the English side, and then the pub is on the Welsh side. So, you know, that kind of sums up the mentality of uh, the Welsh for you, at least. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe maybe they're English. I don't know. Who knows? But anyway, the gatekeeper is going to live there. That's it. And he's got he's got some grass over here. He can, he can eat that grass. Go on, eat the grass, gatekeeper. Grow your wool back. Can you not... Can you not reach it from there? Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to change some of these bits over so that he gets some grass a little bit closer there we go just like that there you go gatekeeper that'll come along so yeah the the uh the town had uh the the, the village had a pub on the welsh side and eventually the uh the english side got its own pub too and there was there was a massive hoo-ha when that happened um yeah people weren't happy <laughs> but we used to have a sheep there called uh hecate which is a an uh, what god is that religion from now? I'm trying to think. Um, well, goddess rather, but um, uh, I don't know. I can't remember anymore. That's terrible of me. I should be able to remember that. I I really can't though. Oh well, never mind. Maybe one of you guys knows and can help me out with that. Um, I hope you all like this pathway, by the way. It's, it's fairly simple, but it does the job. I didn't want it to be too over the top. I didn't want to overtake all of the stuff, you know? And I think I'm just going to put this pressure plate down in here, because it's, it's just going to... Whoa. That was, that was really weird. <laughs> oh, how wonderful is that? <laughs> oh, that's cool. So now I have an invisible door when I when I leave my house. Maybe that's just some lag. I'm not sure. Let me check. I am still recording, although we have very low frames for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Oh, I'm going to leave it though for the time being. So, yeah, one of the other things that I wanted to do today was I wanted to start filling in the uh, the what is it called? The well. That's the one I'm thinking of. Because, you know, people have started falling in it. It's been a feature that I've been uh, demanding that we, we keep for a while. So I feel pretty bad that it looks so, so uh, you know, tragically boring at the moment. And I decided it's time to start filling this stuff in with some water. So that's what we're going to spend some of today doing. I don't know how long it's going to take me. It's probably going to take me quite a while, so I doubt I'm going to have time to decorate it today uh, because I'm running out of time in general right now. But that's kind of my own fault because I was a bit late getting up and uh, getting on, on making videos. I got distracted talking to people, but that's okay. So, yeah, we're going to... Oh, I need some, uh, some smooth stone for this first. We're going to fill up the well. I, I think... I talked about this on Seren's video, but I don't think I was recording at that point, so 
I don't know if any of you guys heard about that. What am I looking for? Smooth stone, that's the one. Um, but yeah, basically what we want to do is fill in the well, so or fill in that sinkhole, because there's so many of them all over Minecraft that I think we should, you know, do something cool with it. And making it into a giant well was something that I haven't really seen anyone do before. So I figured it'd be quite cool to do. Um, I've just got to pillar down some of these some of these bits. And oh, there's a creeper down there I saw. And I'm going to have to take out and replace some of these areas with smooth stone. But that's okay, we can do that. <laughs> I think it's uh, dinner time for the dog, if any of you guys can hear the, uh, the, the pills being swished about. Oh, skelly. Halo there. Take that to the face, why don't you? And uh, you, Mr. Creeper, can die in a fire. As can you, and as can you. And you can definitely all die. Okay. Right, I'm just going to light down the bottom here. Light up down the bottom here so that we don't have any more mobs to deal with whilst we're building. Uh, but all the water will take all of that out anyway, and then no mobs will be able to turn up because it's all water. So it's all good. Uh, what are we doing? We need to take out these. And then we need to get up there and layer some smooth stone across this. Because this is part of one of my friend's builds that I don't want to uh, I don't want to destroy his build by doing this, but I'd like to uh, fill in this this well. Oopsie, that hurt. Uh, that's okay though. So yeah, we'll just wall up this bit. Uh, give me some more smooth stone. And like this. Yeah, I hope you're all having a good day. I don't know what, what you guys have been up to. It was um, Mother's Day in America, wasn't it, recently? So I don't know if any of you guys are in the US or have had, you know, celebrated Mother's Day recently. I hope you did if, if you are in the US and you have a mother, which most people did at some point. Some might not still, but you know, because um, it's, it's a nice thing to do. Mothers are cool. Uh, fill that in, fill that in. Okay. Uh, oh, no, I've just missed this bit, haven't I? Oh, damn it. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. Uh, down, down, down. Whoop. Let's just round off this side a little bit. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay. Let's get down. And now we do some sneaky stuff with the ice. What I... <sighs> give me give me the 22. There we go. What I realized recently, and I'm actually going to just take out that bit there like that. So, oh, oh, blimey, what's this? I don't know, but I'm walling it up. Um, what I realized recently was that water, if you have it in a row, and then you place a bucket like that, it will spread straight across the whole thing, which I think is pretty cool. So it means that you don't really have so much trouble filling in large gaps anymore because Mohang have fixed that bit of the water issue, which I think is great. Thank you, Mohang. You're wonderful people. Okay, let's do that. And then like that. Oh, why did why did the middle ones not make water? What the hell? I don't understand. Anyway, I'm going to start breaking these and uh what is going on? I don't know. I'm going to fill this up and I'll get back to you in a little bit. Peace. Whoa, there we go. Look at that, it's filled with water already. Check it out, how cool is that? Oh man, that's very cool. Now I might I might talk with Mark about this uh, glass here. And see if he doesn't mind me turning it into uh, glass panes at least. Like some gray ones so that it doesn't stand out so much because at the moment with this uh, 
this water here. It's a little bit uh, distracting, but that's okay. And dude, oh wow. Ah, oh, the particle effect and everything. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. It's so cool. And the water at the bottom and the, the light coming through. Yeah, this is awesome. So the idea is that this down here is supposed to lead down to a witch's lair where basically she lives underneath the village and uh yeah is is doing some devious stuff oh oh blimey what's going on here i haven't seen this at all yeah so uh a witch down underneath the uh the town doing devious things and getting up to no good Started making trouble in my neighborhood. Is this part of Conker's thing? Huh. I don't know. I don't even know. But I'm going to block it up in a minute. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have a witch down here. That's for a future episode, though, because uh, I don't quite have that planned out yet. Once I've got the ideas in mind, I'll uh, I'll do it. Don't you worry. Um, whoop, whoop. There we go. Let's put down one more torch there. So I just want to take out the torch down here so it looked really dark because uh, that was kind of what I was going for. And uh, we'll see. Oh, wow, we've already got squid. Huh. Who would have thought they'd have turned up so quick? Oop. Oh, dear. Hope I didn't get caught for too long then. Let's just... There we go. There we go. So, yeah, I'm going to have to come up with a couple of ideas for some decor to put around the outside of this. And, uh, oh, oh, my days, Skype, please, please be quiet. Okay, it's all good, it's all good don't worry. Uh, um, yeah, so, I'm going to have to come up with a couple of bits of decor to go around the outside of this, and I shall be back once I've got it all sorted. Peace. Oh, wow, guys, I think... I think think we might be there with this. I don't know if there's anything else to do. I'm just going to try popping these extra logs on top just so that I feel like I've tried it out because I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And yet I know some people are going to have issues with this and uh, I'll talk about it in a moment because I'm sure some of you have noticed already what's, uh, what's odd about this build. But Personally, I'm doing it as a bit of an experiment, as a bit of a laziness, and uh, oh, no, no, see those, those, are they, well, let's see it from a little bit further back, but yeah, basically, this is an experiment in building slightly, no, they definitely need to come off the top, um, building slightly lopsided, because, as I've said before, I like to try and build to what the natural flow of the landscape is, and uh, try and build around it rather than terraform it to what I want to build. So here I well this this is a is not a straight perfect circle obviously. So I just laid these pillars out roughly in the middle of where I thought it was. Um, so it looked even around the outsides. Now what that's meant is that these are further away from each other and these two over here are nearer to each other, which gives this very odd lopsided effect, which I actually personally like quite a lot. I think it looks really interesting, you know, having this this whole slight slope to it at the top. I don't know. It looks good to me anyway. I like it. And uh, obviously, I decided to put a whole load of buckets. Uh, down inside the uh, the well because as it's so big blatantly we should have loads and loads of buckets because it's busy um, and one right down in the middle there and you can't hardly see to the bottom of it so that's good I I just dig this I think it's really lush I'm I'm very pleased with this I'm just waiting for the sun to go down so I can see what it looks like against a sunset because that's gonna be the uh, the real you know, tail for me, basically. That's what it's going to do it for me. I'm trying to work out the best spot as well to look at it. What do you... I think around about there, maybe? 
Uh, there. Let's just sit here for a moment and uh, wait for the sun to go down. Oh, I do love sunsets. Do you guys? Do you have any memories, any favorite moments of sunsets in your life where you, uh, where you, you, you just sort of, you know, were stood there watching it and it was that perfect moment that, uh, you know, it epitomized life at that time? I've had some pretty cool ones up on, up on top of big hilltops and stuff whilst I've been out traveling. All sorts of things. Oh, this, this does look good, you know, actually. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that's the shot, isn't it? Right there. Yes, mate. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Cool. Well, in that case, I think we are done. I think that's a hefty chunk of work done for today's episode. And I hope I didn't run over time. This this episode is going to be going out a bit late because I've uh, put so much work into doing this. But I hope you guys appreciate it. I definitely like it. I'm happy and pleased. Um, yeah, so you have all been wonderful and amazing. I hope you're all having a wonderful and amazing day. And, uh, oh, my dog's just gone off of the, uh, off the hook. That's all good. I hope you're all having an ex uh, exceptionally wonderful, spectacular day. I am Root. Peace.